And after the break, glass warfare, I, sorry, class warfare in Silicon Valley. Newly minted millionaires causing controversy in San Francisco. We have the guy who wrote the book on it next. The growing animosity in Silicon Valley. Kind of class warfare between tech elites on one side and the rest of the people who live there. There have been protests against the tech companies. Some of them, they're not quite violent, but they're big protests. Our guest wrote a book about it. It's called This Is Rage. His name is Ken Goldstein, and he joins us right now. Ken, how serious is this, is, is this fight between the two sides here? Is it going to spill out over into real violence, do you think? You know, I hope not. Um, it's, uh, it's definitely heating up there, and I think that we have to pay attention. When people are uh, standing in front of buses, uh, you know, you need to listen to what they have to say. But say. it's essentially, it's resentment, isn't it? I mean, the very, very wealthy elites of Silicon Valley versus the people who service their needs, so to speak, those are the two sides here. Yeah, I don't know that I would call people servicing their needs. I'd call people who are living together. I mean, San Francisco is a wonderful place. Silicon Valley is a wonderful place. Um, there's all kinds of things going on there. Technology happens to be one of them. I've happened to have, you know, played a role in that and had a great benefit of it. But we need to live together and we need to share our space. And there needs to be a place for everybody to live and there needs to be a place for people to, uh, you know, to change, exchange ideas and, and to share. So what are you saying, Ken? Raise taxes on the Silicon Valley elite and spread the money around to the masses? Is that what you're saying? No, I'm not. I'm not a tax. I'm not here to talk about tax policy. I wrote a story. I wrote a book called This is Rage, which is really about unleashing people's creativity while also paying attention to the, the to the point of view that, you know, there is an uncomfortableness at any time. People can be laid off at any time. That tap on the shoulder can come. And okay, I think well, what that would people you do? are worried about okay, that. Ken, if you want to get rid of this intensity and this uh, this animosity, what do you do? Well, first thing is I would exhibit a lot of humility. And I think that when, you know, when you hear people like Tom Perkins talking about Kristallnacht and making those kinds of analogies, I don't think those are helpful. When you talk about breaking up California into several states, one of those states being a state called Silicon Valley, that doesn't make any sense. I think when people are making a, a statement about needing a place to live, you work with the community and you find ways to, you know, to have housing that makes sense. Well, but wait I'm, a not, minute, wait a I'm not looking minute. for a reinvasion. I mean, that, that's kind of woolly thinking. You make housing available. What are you? I mean, what are you talking about here? You mean some kind of tax well, I think that if you continue to bid up. If you continue to bid up the price of housing and, and you know, go further and further away from the, the center of where people are working, yeah, you need to have, there needs to be affordable housing for people if you want people to be able to live in the same city with people who are moving into the 1% and the 0.1%. Okay, well, how do you explain that both sides in this dispute vote for the same political party? They're all Democrats in California. <laughs> I mean, the elites, you know, they can't get enough of the left. And the people on the ground floor, they vote Democrat too. I mean, come on. Well, California is a Democratic stronghold. Yeah. It has been for some time. And, and, you know, again, I think that whether you have a, whatever your political party is, I think that, that you still have a, a, a desire to make money, you have a desire to innovate, you have a do desire to push creativity. And I think that that, that, does, that, does, that crosses party lines. That's not just one party or the other. I think we all believe in the capitalist system. We all believe in democracy. We all want to invent the world. You think California really, really believes in that capitalist system? Do you? I look. I've been a beneficiary of it. I'm third generation American. My family well, okay. came over. Do you think my, the tax my... rates are high enough? I mean, if I make a say five million bucks a year and I live in California, my marginal tax rate is about sixty-two percent. You think I should raise that? You know, I'm not a tax expert. What I can say is whatever the tax rates are, people should pay what they need to pay. And if you're making the kind of money that people are making, you should be willing to pay because you're making good in. money, you're having a good life, and there's, there's no, nothing wrong with it. You're getting I good services in. for it. I give in. Surrender. <laughs> give it all to the <laughs> central authority. Okay, Ken, I'll read your book, but I'm a skeptic, okay? I don't think uh, that liberalism works. All right, well, I hope works. you will, and we're also working on a stage version of it, and I hope you come to our opening when we, uh, <laughs> when we put it on the stage in New York okay, next Ken, year. you give me a free ticket, I might be there, okay? You'll be there on opening night. We'll have a ticket for you. Done. <laughs> hey, Ken Goldstein, This Is Rage is the name of the book, and we thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you, Ken. There's a new app.